Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be um, making Uranus's largest moon Titania larger than Uranus. This will probably be the last episode for this like mini series almost because I've done all of the gas giants now, this will be the last one. So I've done Ganymede larger than Jupiter, I've done Titan larger than Saturn and I've done Triton larger than Neptune. So Uranus and Titania the last two I can do. And I've done Mars, I've done Earth as well, and we could do Pluto's moon, um, Charon, so should we do that? Like, tell me in the comments right now, so, yeah, pretty good stuff. And also, guys, the support on yesterday's video is pretty awesome, so I thought I'd, like, I'd sort of show it off here again, I guess, as the last, like, remember remembrance of it almost, I don't know. But anyways, let's get into a new simulation right now, so let's go into my, um, custom one here. My custom Sedna and Planet 9, you guys all should know that by now if you've been watching me for a while, but let's do this. So let's go to Uranus here, slow down time. And let's do this and actually while i'm setting this up guys yeah many thanks to everyone um recently as well because i know i set every video but damn it's it's getting crazy now the sub count ever since we like reached 600 it's already at 614 and it's literally been two days like, i can't thank everyone enough like and i say it every video but i literally really mean it guys thanks um oh the simulation isn't working i'm gonna add moon there's nothing's getting added all right let's just go to a um a regular simulation here this will work Right, I really need to update that custom simulation. I actually just need to spend time on this game and just fix all of the objects as well, because I actually have quite a lot of um, objects here which I don't need anymore. And there's a few ones that shouldn't be here, so I need to delete some of these. Like these ones here, these should all be gone by now. So, yeah, not good. So I need to, I really need to alter that. I think before the next live stream, I will alter it. Alright, that's cool. Alright, so. And also, um, one thing about it, guys, and if you've got any more ideas for the custom solar system I'm going to make in the next few days, because I, I think that I'll do that for the 600 subscriber special, which is, um, there we go, add a little news. Yeah, I think I'll do that for 600 subscriber special, so basically you can make our custom simulation, which will start in every single episode, because so that'd be pretty cool. So, I've got already a few suggestions, which are pretty cool, so if you guys have got any more ideas for like a custom solar system, leave a comment down below because I may feature it in the system. So like what star should I use, any specific planets, binary orbits, stuff like that. So let's get into this. So where is Titania? It's, no, it's a further out moon, so whereabouts is it? Yeah, here we go. So this is the largest moon of Uranus. So I think I think while I'm here as well, I'll delete all of the other... Actually, no, I think I can leave the planets actually. It shouldn't be too much of an issue. So yeah, if you didn't know, Titania is actually the largest moon of Uranus. I always think that... Um, the moons of Uranus are like the least known, honestly, because like everyone knows about like Ganymede and stuff, it's the largest moon. Titan because it's got like the atmosphere, and then Triton because it's like such a unique moon, and yeah, there's quite a lot of stuff about it. But honestly, with Uranus's moons, there's not really much about them. Like they're more like just plain and boring, sort of like the planet itself. So if you look at the planet, it's quite just a dull colour. Like um, when Voyager visited it, it was just a pale blue, and that was it. It was no like nice looking colours. Like if we look at like Mars, it's got loads of different shades of red and brown and stuff, we've got Neptune with all different blues, see this image, or this like picture of Uranus, this um, object, that doesn't look like it does in real life to my knowledge, and then obviously Jupiter and Saturn, they got all their nice clouds, but Uranus is all like plain one colour, it's sort of like this Venus here, but with um, blue instead of like the creamy like yellowy sort of colour there, but anyways, back onto it, so Titania, the largest moon of Uranus, slightly smaller than Pluto as you can see here, and then Eris as well, so... Let's get into this. So we're going to do it like the normal way. So we're going to make it bigger in size. So what we want to do here is, okay, let's just round it up to about 800 um, kilometers. So we're going to make that 1600. And then we're just going to start it um, doing it. And I think um, I'll put it in a custom color. So it's a bit more white. I don't think it'd be sort of that color. Anymore. Oh, not black. Definitely not. Does that look good? I don't know. Hmm. Let's have a look here. Maybe a darker sort of color. Yeah, that looks, that looks cool. I think I'll leave it like that, actually. Alright, so we've got our Titania now, now we want to make it 1600, which I've already done. Then we're going to see what it's going to do to the orbits, because if you didn't know as well, Uranus's moons are on a tilt along with the planets, so all the moons go, they go around um, above the north and south pole, or where, no, not the north and south pole, they go above the equator, because Uranus is on its side, the equator is here, so their moons are just following the equator, because they go around like this, but the other moons would go around, or the other planets, they go around the normal way. It's, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. Because the planet's knocked on its back, so are the moon's orbits as well. It's pretty interesting stuff. But there we are. So, where is it? Titanium's all the way up here. Alright, so, not much is really happening so far. So, we're going to double it up again to uh, um, 3,200 like that. So, it is changing the mass of the moon as well. So, that's what I want. So, it's going to slightly start to affect the orbits until it gets so large that it eventually becomes larger than Uranus itself. Which is, yeah, not too good for Uranus, honestly. Alright, so, 
Let's speed this up more. Anything going to happen yet? Doesn't look like it. I think Uranus is still the object in command as it is. I think it's 13, no, 14.5 Earths in mass. So yeah, a little moon of 3. Point, or a little moon of 3.11 masses a moon. Yeah, that's not going to do too much. So let's double it up again to 6,400. Oh no, not five. 6,400 kilometers like this. So as you can see, its orbit did slightly change in Oberon, which is the next moon out of that orbit, just got stretched out, as you can see here. And if we look already out here, all of these moons' orbits are wobbling slightly, as you can see there. So, well, look how big the moon's looking as well. If we just look from Oberon here, yeah, that moon's looking quite large. And then if you look from Uranus itself, all the way down here, and we look upwards, you can see that moon is quite a lot large now. It's definitely larger than Mars, actually, almost. Almost as large as the Earth, I think. Let's have a look here. Yeah, almost as large as Earth. No, it's actually larger than Earth, actually. Yeah, so Earth would fit inside there. All right, cool. So let's speed this up again. And let's see if anything else happens. So the orbits in the inner section are also... Well, pardon me there. Yeah, the orbits are also getting altered in the inner part of the Uranus system as well. So, yeah, not good. So, also guys, while I'm thinking about it as well, yeah, my audio. I am aware of the issue, and I'm trying to get it fixed, okay, guys? Because, yeah, if you didn't know, I don't even use a microphone to record my voice. I just use an old webcam. All right, this is what it's like, YouTube, with not much um, spare resources to um, depend on. So I've got to do things a little um, harder than other people. So, yeah, but I am saving up to get one right now. So, yeah, so, yeah, just so you know. All right, anyways, let's um, speed this up. So, okay, I think we are good. I don't think anything's going to happen. So... This is probably where the real stuff's going to start, so it's going to go to 12,000 now, and then 400 I think it was. Alright, there we go. So now it's a mass of 2.22 Earth, so 2.22, 2, 2, 2, 2. Alright, so let's um, speed this up, and then we'll see the orbits on the outer part are really just scraping around. In fact, actually I think I'm going to delete these orbits here as well, because they are getting quite annoying, so let's um, delete all them, there we go. Delete all these as well, just bear with me. Saturn as well. Let's get rid of all these dwarf planets here. There we go. So now we can see stuff a lot easier. So there we go. So it looks like from this, some of the moons are start going to start orbiting the sun, as you can see here. Because it looks like this moon here, Mar Margaret, 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 or Margaret, I don't know how you say that. Um, it looks like it's in orbit of the sun, not Uranus anymore, because this object is like thrown it out. Well, Umbriel as well. What has happened here? Damn. Wait, where did Titania go? Where is it? Um, Titania? Did it crash into Uranus? Um, I think Titania got destroyed, guys. Alright, let's just reload this up. <laughs> what happened there? I don't even know. Okay, so let's um, quickly um, delete all these again, like that. Oh, come on, delete. Select them. There we go, delete. And then delete again. Okay, there we go. That's just pretty much all of them now. And these last two over here. And then those two. There we go. And Pluto go away. Alright, so. Got Uranus again. Put it up to add moons to planet. Slow down time again. Press play. And let's put it back up to 12,000, I believe it was. So, where is it? Alright, we're going to keep an eye on it this time. So, I think it crashed into Uranus or something. So, well, it's the same colour as last time, is it? Let's change that back to how it was. There you go, something like, something like that, I think it was, alright. Um, okay, that's too... Oh, I don't like that. There you go, just leave it like that. So, let's put it back up to 12,000 kilometres there. So, alright, 12,000... Right, there we go, that's pretty much the same. So, I'm going to keep an eye out on what it does this time. So, we'll speed it up as well so the orbits will change to the way they were. So, as we can see, it's doing the same again. The moon's just starting to orbit the sun there. Alright, so it's looking good. And it pretty much is already half the size of Uranus itself as well. Just a little under half, because 25,000 and 12,000. So, yeah. Almost half the size of Uranus already. So, if you want a quick comparison, here we go. So, yeah, about half the size. And it looks like one of the moons actually hit it already. <laughs> so, it's already sucking in all the other nearby objects. As we see, it's got a crater there. Why are we at Earth? Damn it. Let's go back. So, Titania. Looks like it ate up all of the other nearby moons as well, like... Ooh, that's not good. Alright, so let's play again. Let's keep it out here. So much going on here. Alright, so now let's put it up again. So we're going to put it up to 24,000, and that is literally just slightly smaller than Uranus itself. So there we go. So 24,000, and then this one is 25,000. So 
This is about to cause a lot of trouble, so let's hit play. And now it's in a binary orbit with Uranus. So Uranus is no longer orbiting the Sun. It's now in a binary like orbit around the Sun with Titania here. Since this has got 16 masses of Earth, it actually has more mass than Uranus does. So, yeah, not good for Uranus, actually. So if any of these moons get too close, they're going to start orbiting Titania, it looks like. So, oh, Uranus is getting warmed up by Ruchlim as well. Oh, they're getting close. Okay, so Uranus is actually heated up. <laughs> That's not good. All right, so... Can we make it bigger or let's continue running it for a bit so we do not want them to collide so we've got to be careful as it looks like as it gets further away it cools down but as it gets closer it's going to warm up again all right oh it's just cooled down completely okay i don't know why it does that it should have warmed up again all right let's just leave it so look at this moon umbreal has been thrown out and now this is in orbit of the sun like look at these orbits like what it just happened oh wow all right so let's continue pressing play and they are they are getting close look at that See if we want a quick view from like the um, upper clouds of Uranus here. Get a good look. That thing is looking pretty large. So let's sew this down. Oh, a lot of the inner moons have disappeared as well. Miranda's gone. It looks like they were thrown out here. Well, they've just been destroyed completely. Yeah, that's not too good. All right. Oh, I'm assuming some of them did hit Uranus as well. That's why it did warm up, maybe. Because a lot of the inner moons are missing now. So this moon is dominating completely. Yeah, that's not too good. So. Let's double it up again, so it's going to be larger than Uranus now, so we're going to put it up to, oh, what's what's times two of that? My math is, like, killing me. All right, 48,000, there we go. So now it's 129 Earth, so it's larger in size and larger in mass now, so this isn't good. So we're going to have to make Uranus auto-orbit Titania instead. So it looks like the Rouge limit of Titania could tear up Uranus here, and it's stealing all the moons as well, look. That's not too good. This one's on a collision course as, um, with it right now as well. With Titania there, so let's have a look. Oh, poor Uranus. It's getting destroyed. Or is it going to... I think it may. It's getting quite close. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know why it's warming up for no reason. Okay, is it going to do anything? Go be careful. I do not want it to collide. Alright. Okay, so yeah, it looks like it is being affected by tidal forces since Titania is heating up itself. And when Uranus gets closer, it goes a little more yellow. Okay, and now it just cooled down again. I don't know why it does that. Because if we just saw for a brief second, it was getting hotter at this point here. At the closest point, which is where it is now there. So, interesting stuff. I don't know why they, the Rouge Limit is a little buggy, I still think. See, look, it heated up there. Why does it heat up and cool down? It does get hotter at that point there. So the Rouge Limit or tidal forces are tapping into each other and affecting each other. So, not good. But anyways, I don't think anything is happening now. They're in a stable orbit. So we're going to have to make Titania even larger again. So double 48, that is... Ooh, what is double 48? Um, 90... Yeah, 96,000, I think that's double. So there we go. Oh, that's big. Okay, Uranus is not good. Right, so we're going to make it orbit again so it doesn't go completely in. Now Rouge Limit should completely tear it apart, I want to say. I don't know. It's now got the mass of three Jupiters, so yeah, this thing is now the largest dominant object in the solar system as well, so... Well, apart from the sun, obviously, but yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's warming up again. Okay, Uranus is barely surviving, it looks like. Oh no, I think something did just come off it, actually. I just saw a few, like, pieces of smoke almost come off. Well, not smoke, like steam or some material of some kind. Okay, it doesn't look like anything's happening. We'll continue playing just to see. Okay, nothing's happening, and the moons are still orbiting. Just look at these orbits of the moons. Like, what is going on here? Just look at these orbits. These are crazy. Wow, okay. It's now got this crazy orbit. It's in a binary orbit of the sun, apparently. Okay, interesting. All right, it's really annoying me, this bug. I don't know why it's in a binary orbit of the sun. It's only three Jupiters. Like, if we look at the sun mass, it's 0 0.003. Like, it's hardly got any mass of the sun. So how is it large enough to have a binary orbit? Like, it's a weird. I don't know. Anyone, can anyone explain that? All right, anyways. Let's go back in here, and anything's happening. Okay, nothing's happening, so we're going to make it double the size again. See, look, it just lost material there. So it is slightly losing mass. Look at the materials here. Anything changing? Anything at all? Okay, doesn't look like it. I definitely saw material there, and you guys saw it as well, so interesting. Okay, so let's make it even bigger now. So this will probably turn it into a gas giant, so let's, do a, let's just do go up to 180,000 now. So that's about double, so 180,000. Now it's just a massive gas giant. Alright, so let's press auto orbit. And there we go. Roosh limit has now just shredded Uranus apart 
and it's going to get turned into absolutely nothing in a matter of hours. So, poor Uranus has been reduced to absolutely just a little rock now. A little rock made of gas, water, silica and iron. And it's still getting shredded. It's getting absolutely torn apart. So it's only 90 kilometers in size now, while this giant thing here is also just gone. Hey, this is on its side as well. That's interesting. All right. Cool. So there we go. I think that's pretty much going to end this off because nothing else can really happen. All these moons are just going to crash into it, as we can see here. And there we go. Titania has dominated this part of the solar system, as we can see here. So now we've got this humongous Titania. Maybe I'll save this as a custom object. So yeah, you want the, you want this object in our custom solar system, guys? Just say it's saved. All right. There we are. Okay. Anything left? Okay. All these moons are coming in for a little um. Well, whatever moon is this close, that is in serious trouble. <laughs> Alright, so, we'll continue speeding up and see if anything else happens. So it looks like that is the end of the Uranus system. Now it's the Titania system, with this new dominant planet, which is quite large, actually. It's a lot larger than Jupiter, I believe. Yeah, there we go. It's quite, quite a big object here. Not as big as the Sun, though. And if you want a comparison with the largest planet, yeah, this thing isn't, this thing isn't that big. Okay, yeah, there's the largest planet, as you can see there. It's a lot bigger. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, not too good for this, but it's fairly decent size. It's about half the size of that almost, so not not bad. All right, so let's um, go out as well. I only got 21 Jupiters in mass, so that's, um, that's strange. All right, so there we go, guys. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this episode. Make sure if you did, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. If you've got any um, suggestions for another video, feel free to leave them down below. Or if you've got any questions or anything, I'm pretty sure some of the comments or I myself will. Um, answer them or anything like that so um yeah pretty cool stuff and yeah like i said um if you haven't already do the subscribe help us on the way to 700 subscribers now wait did i just say subscribe twice oh i don't know did i just say i literally asked you twice to do it oh just ignore me I, i'm not i'm not good at outros i'm sorry like i'll probably say it in most videos i suck at outros guys i'm sorry but yeah there we go so like i said hopefully you enjoyed make sure you have a good day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye